Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to Alexander Thronus. I know it is ha it has been probably a couple years since I've made my last video. And I'm a lot older now. I am 10. Well, last time I made a video I was like 8, 9. So, I don't know. Today, I thought I would make an Alexander Thornus vlog. And what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm going to be doing reviews on dinosaurs, realistic looking dinosaurs that are um, from certain kind of brands like Popo, Schleich, um, Safari Limited, Collect A, brands like that. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of knowledge. So this is my first Alexander Vlog video. Pretty excited. Um, it's an Alexander Soren's vlog, so if you want to follow me, that's, that's cool. I'm just going to watch this video because you're searching something. Like, I do that all the time on YouTube. Um, that's fine. So today, this review is going to be about all of my realistic looking T-Rexes. So let me bring out the first one, and we're going to review each one of these individually. And, um... I'm going to be sharing a lot of knowledge about these figures and um, T-Rex in general as well. So, um, I'm going to be moving to my desk uh, to do this because I'm sitting on the floor because I thought it was a better introduction. So, move the camera here because I just think that it's a better position. So, the first dinosaur model that we have is the Popo 2016 redo model from for the T-Rex. This is a beautiful looking model, and I know there isn't that much camera quality in my camera. It's an old iPad, but if you can see how much detail is into this face, of the T-Rex, the Papa T-Rex. Now, the thing that I love about this figure is that the eyes red, obviously, and the teeth are all, they're not organized. Now, you might say, well, I want there to be organized teeth because this doesn't look good, this looks sloppy. Well, T-Rex's teeth kept growing and growing and they kept falling out. So there's even a tooth here that you can see that there, that is being pushed out and replaced by another tooth. I think that is the perfect model that we've gotten from Papo um, for a T-Rex so far. Now, I'm just talking about model. I'm not talking about color-wise. I mean, this is the rainbow T-Rex. It's pretty colorful. Most people would prefer the brown T-Rex or maybe the green running T-Rex. I like this one because of its rainbow color. Now... The best thing, probably, about realism, besides the teeth, is that the eyes are facing forward on this model. So, you, as you can see, like, the eyes are facing forward, whereas most T-Rex models, they're facing to the side. Because, you know the thing, the saying in Jurassic Park, they can't, they need, their focus is on movement. They can't see if, you're not move, if you don't move. Well, that isn't true, and Papa just took that. And made it. Now this model is based off of the V-Rex and the Bull T-Rex that we see in the Lost World. And from King Kong, the V-Rex. This model basically. So running down, obviously as you can tell, T-Rex. T-Rex's eyes were facing forward. Now I am sharing a lot of knowledge about T-Rex and all the realist Oh, that is in here. Now I like the fact that it's all worn and weathered here. Like, you know, all the detail that Popo puts into his models. And I love Popo's tails. The tails for the models, they're just so long. And I think that's totally real for a dinosaur because, like, they need to be balanced because T-Rex has two legs that balance out the weight in the middle. Now the head, neck, arms, and body is here, and then the huge tail balancing out the weight between these Legs, very muscular legs, as Papa said. I mean, Papa did. 
This was made in 2016. The original model was... The original running T-Rex was in, made in 2012. Um, that was the green T-Rex. We're going to be looking at, at that in a moment. And we're going to compare it to this. The same, the same model. There's a different color. So, it, obviously, Papa puts a lot of detail into their feet. Now, T-Rex would have very bird-like feet because the T-Rex was more related to birds. But they were in the reptile class. Looking at the other side. The other side is a nice side. Nice coloring, nice really realistic look, and I like that Popo always has the articulated jaw on its models, um, so you can pose that. Um, the plant eaters don't have articulated jaws because, you know, I mean, they don't really bite, but the predators, every single predator that Popo has made has the articulated jaw. And this one thing that Popo did was, it made two flesh pieces on the jaw. This doesn't have it here, but it, you see how this has one flesh piece? Well, they make a, <clears throat> excuse me, they make a second, <laughs> a second flesh piece to make it open wider. I'm gonna go bring the Popo Archicansis shorts just to give an example of it. Back here on my shelf, obviously I have a ton of dinosaurs on my shelf. Now the Popo Archicansis has one jaw for articulation and then two. One and then two. See how much articulation is into that? That that just that just blown away blown me away. Blows me away. Awesome. The bubble did that. So can't make this video extremely long, so the next dinosaur we're going to be looking at is the green T-Rex from Popo. Now, when I was a kid, I was playing a lot with this. As you can see, the teeth are broken out. There's some teeth here that are missing. So, it's not that bad. So, i got to make this video very short. So, I'm going to run through a quick detail. Obviously, nice musculature. Really balanced. Eyes facing forward. Pretty much everything that the Rainbow Rex had. The only screen. Now, there is no difference in the tails. The tails are exactly the same on mine. There's no difference. It's the same sculpt. Exactly the same design, just a different color. The inside of the mouth. This one has, version 2 of it has more worn. It's more, it's more of a darker pink. And where this one you can't really see, but it's a lighter pink. Um, I think I like the darker pink better. I don't know. Um... Which one do you prefer? I like the green T-Rex, but then the rainbow T-Rex is also pretty cool. So now we're going to be looking at the Popo brown T-Rex. This is just a brown version. Now, I only have T-Rex with the different colors. I, didn't, I don't have the green version of this, and I don't have the rainbow version. I just got different colors. Every single color that they made. They made brown T-Rexes, they made green, and then they made the rainbow version. This one, as you can see, has a different fit head. Comparing it to the green one, obviously, as you can see, it's a different head sculpt. The eyes aren't facing forward. Shorter arms on this one. And the teeth are really organized, which I know that looks nice and all, but, you know, it's not going to be organized. And then what they did was, they made second teeth on the jaw to make it look like the jaw is like they have their teeth. Here, like you're going like this, like grunting. I don't honestly, I don't, mm, I'm not really fond of that feature. It's okay, I guess, but I prefer not to have it. Um, Sculpt is pretty, it's pretty much just like the one in Jurassic Park. This one resembles the one in Jurassic Park when it's in like the roar version, like at the end of the movie where it goes, Rap. um, so then now. Sir, the fourth T-Rex model is the green Schleich T-Rex. I only got one from Schleich for one reason, and that reason is I don't like Schleich. I don't like Schleich. You know that got that commercial saying, I like Schleich, I don't like Schleich. Because they make, they don't have much detail. I mean, there's a lot of detail in this, but there's not as much as the Popo. Teeth aren't really well painted. The tongue is just a weird red color. 
And then the tail is just short. It's in this weird position. Like, I don't know about this. But I do know about this. This looks realistic. This. What did you do to us kids? I wonder if some kids are messed up these days. So, basically, I actually have a sweatshirt with this on it. I should have made this. This is more realistic. Obviously. Now, the eyes are on phase four, and this one, like these are. The teeth. I'm gonna get my Rainbow Rex. Are obviously more detailed than. Just open that mouth. Obviously, as you can see, the teeth are just more detailed. The tail is really bad on this one because look how short it is compared to the Papa one. This this is a baby T-Rex compared to the Papa T-Rex. Like this is not as much detail, and this is a baby. Like T-Rex isn't gonna balance like this because T-Rex needs to be balanced like this one. So, obviously, guys, I think our time has come to an end. And i got to make this video as short as possible. So, if you like this video, this is my first Alexander Log video. Follow me on YouTube. Just leave a like. And if you got a problem with me, if you like Schleich and you don't like Popo, leave it down in the comments. If... You agree with me? Leave it in the comments. Um, so I hope you guys. If you guys are gonna pick T Rex models up, pick Popo up. Popo is good. They they should have more Popo stores around here. There's enough stores that sell Popo models. I get my models from Draws, a, a store called Draws. It's in Lebanon. Obviously, none of you guys. It's not like a store like Walmart. It's not everywhere. But Schleich is everywhere, and you can't find good Popo models these days. Popo does a good job. Schleich, it's okay, but I just prefer Popo. So, enjoy this video. Gotta go, guys. I'll see you in the second Alexander Thornis vlog video. So, bye, guys.